Kelantan membawa pulang tiga mata berharga setelah menewaskan PKNS pada Sabtu lalu. Setelah berehat dua hari, Kelantan menjalani latihan pada petang ini. Penyerang import dari Ghana, Mestago, diramalkan muncul dengan penampilan sulung pada Sabtu ini. How was the team overall performance during the game against PKNS? The team did well. Um, if you look at the performance we had against Felda, I felt that defensively we were not compact enough as a team. So we worked on that, uh, on our formation. We worked on how to defend uh, more compact and not give space away. And uh, I thought the first half we played really well, really good football. And we should have scored a lot more goals than we did in the first half. Okay, uh, what about your comment when Apex saved penalty? Yeah, I was delighted. I, if I'm honest, I, I thought we did not deserve to go uh, a go down based on the performance. But this is football. It's uh, sometimes a bit of a roller coaster. You have to anticipate quickly. Apple uh, did fantastic for us, and uh, I said that in my uh, review. Uh, that uh, because of him we got the three points and uh, he deserved to be the man of the match. Okay, okay um, second question. It is reported that Prince Tego can play this Saturday against Perak. How do you see the impact of Tego joining the game? It's great news for us because uh, against uh, PKNS I could not feature with uh, Fakri because of a slight little niggle injury he was carrying so I did not want to risk him. And uh, Iswam came in for him and he did a fantastic job and I was delighted to see how he took his chance. Um, but it's great to have Prince available because it gives us more options going forward. With Fakri being injured, if Prince was fit, perhaps maybe he would have started. But now Iswam has, uh, has pushed up and he's taking his place. So it's great for us and uh, I'm happy to have another option going forward. Okay. This Saturday we are playing against Perak, which currently sit at the 11th position. Okay. However, Kelantan lost to Perak 1-2 in in Ipoh during first leg. What is your opinion on Perak, and how will you prepare the team for another three point in Kota Baru? Tough, tough game. Um, but I uh, I think that Perak is a, a young team with a lot of energy, and they get their points based on hard work and. Uh, we have to be careful of that because they have good energy in the team. But uh, I think we have uh, enough good players and good quality of players to uh, to match the energy of Perak. And hopefully our class will show. Uh, at home with the support, as you saw last game, we were 3-0 down, but the support was fantastic and we came back to draw. So if the players can emulate anywhere near the performance they had against PKNS, uh, I hope the result will look after us, but yeah, PKNS is a is informed team. Even though they are 11th in the in the league, it does not rectify uh, how good they can be as a team. So we we have to take this game also very very serious. Okay, okay, coach. Can you say something to the fans? The fans have been fantastic. I, uh, if I'm honest, I, I've enjoyed the media, the social media side of uh, of the fans of of uh, and. For me, it's uh, always great to have such a support. And uh, it's not nice when you play against Kelantan, but it's great to be part of the big family. And uh, I hope to uh, to bring more more victories uh, with the team and uh, hopefully we can also lift the trophy up to please the fans, that would be great. And uh, I can then see my time here as, as a successful player.